it's as low as it goes. I watch her kneel down to the Sayori. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit down myself. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and end up and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Yeah, I'm worried about her. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? She's your friend, mate! That feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. Are we gonna do the poems? I realize that she won't... That she won't get anywhere like this. I never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I think they do. No, they don't have their own music. It just changes. Because I think someone else had this music before. Hi. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But... I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you able, able to tell that I was thinking like that? Alright, I gotta reread that one. Hold on a minute. How are you able... I suck. How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? There you go. Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it was hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Did I have constipation face? Not, 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 not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you're right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who are willing to share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you prefer to share that, what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Aw, she's nice. Uh, it's really not that big a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, uh, she seems a little off today. When I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. But I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? Something smells funny, doggos. What'd you do? That's quite romantic. Huh? S sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just don't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been, just been friends for a long time, that's all. <laughs> Jade is making her spot. Are right, you gonna go lay under the- Okay. Mama's pulling hippo moves and knocking over everything. Ah, uh, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Hi! What? Mama's just trying to boop her head. Hi, Lo! I see you! Hi! You, what you been tensioning for, huh? What you been tensioning for? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. What? Alright, I'm gonna. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta pause again real quick. Uh, I think Mama's needs to go potty. I'll be right back, my friends. Oh wait, hold on. You know what? There's something I need to do. Uh do 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 Oh. I can't do that. Okay. Never mind. Be right back.
Sorry about that, friends. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I don't know why the Be Right Back um, videos are not working. The clips. That started working. Man, my heart rate is up. I was running across the, <laughs> across the house. Taking care of the doggo. All right, let's get back into this. Where were we? Big Papa. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep in his plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Uh, so you think there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Siori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be on the inside her head. Yep. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. Aha! Uh -huh. See? Thumbs up. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she fully was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess? She's my friend! I've known her since we were like, we high. Of course I care about her. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Uh, some in my mouth. Gross. Blech. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. That's how you do. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my glaze. My glaze. Avert your glaze! Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold, even to themselves. And you, as someone's honest and caring- Bug! Oh, I hit him, but I didn't smush him. Stupid fly. I booped him with one hand, but I, I clapped like this, and he bopped off of that hand. Almost got him. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you aren't aware were in you. That is... I think that... She would be a very fortunate person. Who have you feel that way about her? Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. But I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. <laughs> I don't have much depth. I'm, I'm kind of dense. I'm, I'm like a rock. I'm a big dumb rock. That's what I am. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. <laughs> anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Oh, she's so happy. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Hell yeah, let's make some tea. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Er. Not to mention for yourself as well. That was her saying that, not me. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric knife. Why did I read knife? <laughs> electric kettle. <laughs> I guess her poem's still stuck in my head. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we'll get to s get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Fly! Ow! I flicked the light. Excuse me. Shall we go then? Yeah. Oh, Monica's popping in. Where are you two off to? Uh, we're just... Yeah, we're going to make some tea, so... I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? Is Monica getting jealous? 
I can't make a poem for you. Don't get jealous. It's not my fault the game created didn't let me make a poem for you. That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Oh, snap. Whoa! What do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Big Papa in club activities? Whoa! That's out of character for her. Eh? My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Whoa! Then let's go, Big Papa. Whoa, that's really out of character. Uh... Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. He spoke without thinking. Why is there no music? How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I... I think you did the right thing. Why is there no music? I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. There, there's music. Big Papa. It's the same music, it's just really slowed down. That's cool. That's something that's cool about the oh, RPG Maker game. Like, they give you a bunch of free musics and sounds you can do, and you can like super speed them up and change pitches and stuff, and it can sound like a completely different song. Even though it's the same thing, super cool. Big Papa. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing that you do is bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can't always hide them anyway. Hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. for something as terrible as that. Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, say? Uh, um... Yuri lifts her head. Big Papa, I really like being friends with you. Yes! Friends with Yuri. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway! Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Back to the bubbly music. Fuck you, fly! Ow! Ah! I don't think I got him again, but I flicked the light and it hurts! Big Papa. Oh, he's in my, on my monitor. Where'd you go? Stupid fly. Oh, I moved the, the cookie things and the dogs got all excited. I hit him. I didn't want to smash him on my monitor. That's gross. Big Papa, do you like oolong tea? I've never had oolong tea. Is it any good? Oh, uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri says the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when you're making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> Whoa, her, her laugh changed. She did a hoo-hoo. Bubble tea. Oolong tea is bubble tea. Oh, I love bu bubble tea. How? Bubble tea's not hot, though. Bubble tea's not hot. If it was, it would melt the bubbles. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna know all about the teas, aren't you? Also, is my heart rate monitor thing still working? Because my phone just locked up. Alright, I see colors changing. We're good enough. In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little tune to herself. Aw. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. 
I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Oh, nice. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. Oh, she's feeling comfortable. That's good. Let me see who's around anyway. Oh. Uh. That's great, Yuri. Yeah, I'm actually proud of you. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Big Papa. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I'll watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Big Papa, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Sure. Uh, why is that? It's a little easier on my back. Do you have a bad back? I read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. Oh, that makes sense. Oolong is... Oh, oh, oh. Bubble tea isn't oolong is good tea, too. Got you, got you. Okay, I feel better now. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain very regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Alright, she's taking care of herself. That's good. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Ah. Uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. <laughs> yes. I have terrible reading posture. She's a freaking adorable! <laughs> I love her too now, god dang it. <laughs> so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. Nice. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even clo- Oh, here we go. Our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. <laughs> she pops. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri is always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh, it's getting hot and steamy in here with the tea! Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Oh, she's adorable.